Welcome to Drury's October Freight Loop. My name is Philippe Damas and I head the Supply Chain Advisors Practice of Drury. I will now provide a five minute, five topic summary scan on the question of 2024 ocean tenders. Many of you BCOs and shippers are now planning your 2024 ocean tenders and you are, I am sure, hoping to secure low ocean rates and air cargo rates and at the same time secure capacity with an acceptable level of carrier service. But what are the tools or the areas where there is potential for improvement in bid results and in reducing risks? This is what I'll discuss now quickly. Number one, minimize the overcost in inverted commas besides base ocean rates. Yes, reducing base ocean rates is very important, but it will now be more important than before to reduce the overcost. What do we mean by this? Logistics administration costs, such as the cost of running your bid, detention and demurrage costs, which for medium and large shippers now run into millions of dollars a year, and the new topical emission regulations or so-called emission trading scheme surcharges to and from Europe. Second, set realistic target rates as part of your bid. Yes, the container shipping market is becoming more favorable to shippers and there will be further rate reductions available to professional buyers. Although I must stress that the more rates fall, the harder it will be to secure further reductions. Still, to, to get the maximum potential reduction in cost and squeeze the last uh, potential opportunity, use a benchmarking provider to tell bidders what you expect, what rates you expect in the bid from them, to increase competitive pressure, and to be confident about what you can actually negotiate. On this slide, for example, you can see an example of latest negotiated contract rates from other BCOs based on recent negotiations. And you can see other key indicators of cost, which you can and should uh, include in your bid. Three, re-evaluate your supplier base. This is very important, not just from a cost viewpoint, but also from a logistics operations viewpoint. By re-evaluating your supplier base and relationships, you can ensure that the supplier base fits not only the current marketplace, but also is future-proof for your business. Competitive analysis enables shippers and BCOs to understand if they have the optimum number and type of service providers which are available out there to meet both current and projected needs and to protect against potential market disruption. On this slide, you can see an example from a previous advisory workshop that we conducted for a BCO in the US of how to define and how to think about the best supplier base and what we call the right carrier lineup. Four, save time, raise bid efficiency by using an advanced integrated bid and benchmarking tool. What do I mean by this? Well, first of all, even small and medium-sized shippers nowadays are able to use an advanced uh, online, usually cloud-based and largely automated bid tool, which provides fast analytics on bid completion progress. It provides very good streamlined communication with the bidders. It provides scenario results and optimization to select the best combination of carriers and rate offers for the trade-off that you want in terms of cost, service and other criteria. The best practice also is to have benchmark rates integrated into this bid tool, something which we at Drury and our uh, bid partner, technology partner, Freight Tender now offer. Five, this is our fifth way to improve your bid planning, and it is make knowledge-led planning decisions, particularly to mitigate risks. 
with supply and demand weighted in shippers' favour, the risk of shortage of capacity is not a number one risk anymore. However, geopolitical climate events risks and the risk of port strikes will have a more significant impact on supply chains and on operations. With this in mind, I suggest that understanding the potential impact of events such as the longshore negotiations on the East Coast and Gulf Coast next year, or the introduction of the ETS carbon surcharges from January, these things will be uh, crucial in business continuity and in containing spend. Here we highlight one of the risks I just mentioned, which will arise before or around September 24. Put this into your calendar. And this is potential labor actions by the ILA at US Eastern and Gulf ports. I mentioned here a fairly militant, hostile comment from the union leader, Harold Daggett, who heads the ILA union in the US. So to sum up, here are five ways to improve results and reduce risks in your 2024 ocean tenders. You can see the list here. Minimize the overcost, set realistic target rates, re-evaluate your supplier base, um, save time, raise bid process efficiencies, in particular by using an integrated bid and benchmarking tool, and make knowledge-led planning decisions to mitigate risks. I hope these are helpful. Drawy has developed best practices programs around these areas, and we can organize for BCO's pre-bid strategy workshops. So feel free to contact me or contact our team of ocean and air procurement experts in the future if you need any support. Thank you and goodbye.